Hello and welcome to this week's episode of um, the heat pump installation that we did. Today's episode, we are talking about why we changed to a heat pump. So the reason why we went for the heat pump. So I've tried to list down the reasons on here. So I'll try to be as honest as I can with everyone and everyone, I can see your comments as well. So please do subscribe and do comment. I do read them. I do learn from them and we take it from there. So here we go. The first reason was we, our boiler was coming up to uh, seven years and during COVID, we did miss a few services requested for it and we thought it was the right time to change. And because of the grant that the government was giving out, our cost to replace it with a, a heat pump were very low. So our cost was about 500 pounds. There's a video about this on this channel. So do subscribe to the channel and follow. There's a, a how much it, it cost us and how much it also cost us uh, in the first month. So there's a video about that. Do watch that video. Um, so it was coming to seven years, uh, seven years, our boiler. And, you know, we thought, you know, having a heat pump for 500 pounds you know, less the seven and a half grand from the government was going to be cheap. So that's the first reason. The other reason was our son, the boiler in our house was right underneath his bedroom. And believe you me, the boiler, when it was turning on, it was really loud. Whenever we slept with him, when he wasn't feeling well and all that, you know, we could hear it and you wake up with a buzzing noise in your ears and your head and it wasn't a pleasant experience and you know dare I think of his health and his um, ears as well when he's sleeping there every time when the boiler is turning on all the time with the noise so that's the second reason really we thought it was noisy and really you know for him it wasn't going to be that good as he grows up you know it was going to be as loud every time you know you can imagine having a buzzing noise every time the boiler turned on and during winter when it's always you know going on during the night and to keep the, to stabilize the temperature so that was reason number two the other reason is efficiency the heat pump is efficient so i've just looked at the cop on our uh, heat pump so it says it's, it's 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 used 124 kilowatt hours and it's produced 497 kilowatt hour of of heat i'm not too sure about that number so that gives us a cop of four i'm not really sure about that number so i'll be honest with you because the app says different the app says something else you know when i look at the inside of the app it says we've used more on the app right so this year from installation it's saying we've used 290 kilowatt hours you know so i'm not too sure why the upstairs mmi is saying you know we've taken in 124 but in any case the efficiency bit that i'm i will talk about as well is i'm, I'm on awkward intelligence and we normally heat up the water in the cheaper rate of 8p so normally that's when it turns on it also turns on between 7 and 7 30 and 8 for 30 minutes just to top it up as well the temperature and it it feels or we see that it's cheaper you know when we are using it in the morning heating up the water and also you know 30 minutes it doesn't use that many kilowatt hours at that time so that's the efficiency bit I am aware that in winter it is going to be a bit more, but I'm hoping to transfer what I use on gas to top up on my electricity uh, usage and bill. So that should even up. And looking at this month, the May usage, we are using less this month. You know, yes, it's slightly turning. It's not as warm as, you know, it should be in May. You know, it's May the almost May the 30th, May the, May the 30th today, and it's actually really, really windy and a, a bit cold and rainy. So again, it, it leads me to the next point where I think the environment reasons is also the other reason why we have, you know, 
um, decided to go with a heat pump. So environment reasons, as you can see, the seasons are changing. Gas is a fossil fuel. So really, instead of us, you know, continuing using gas, we want to turn around and say we were doing our part. Yes, you know, there are other countries that are polluting and all that, but, you know, it's either here or there. So, you know, for us, it's one of those things that we do our part, then, you know, see how it develops as time goes on. For one thing, for sure, when we changed from our diesel cars to the uh, electric cars, I, I can guarantee you this, we can smell diesel the moment we hear a diesel car or we're around a diesel car, we can smell it. Now, because we've got electric cars, our air is a bit more better and you can actually tell the difference. You know, when, like before, when, when we used to go in the pub, when we used to smoke in pubs, or people used to smoke, I never, I've never smoked. When people used to smoke in pubs, used to go in there, it was normal. But now, when you go in and there's no smoke, and if someone smokes near you, you can actually feel it. That's how we feel with, with the fumes from diesel pipes. So electric, electric cars have given us that. So that's the, you know, environment reasons that I'm talking about. It does, it does have a difference. So that's the other reason why we change. I am not too sure about the efficiency in terms of the COP numbers because I need to monitor it more because the app is saying something else and the MMI in the house is saying something else. The house itself, it's very warm, it's comfortable were not really cold or anything like that heating the water the water is absolutely you know the temperature we want we and it works fine for a family of four excited and do come along with us on this journey thank you very much for watching this video uh, for this week and do subscribe for more